Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're all doing fine. So today we are having something while just bunged up again. <laughs> um, so in here we have got egg noodles. I've put in some crab sticks, some tiny hot dog balls. I don't know if you've seen them in the supermarkets, but they're, they're shaped like a football. They are. I've put some spinach in, I've got some carrots in, egg, and I'm about to put some green onion or spring onion in as well. And I don't know why, I just fancied some cucumber as well. So. So that is that. So let's give this a try. Let's see how well I've done with this one. Mm. Tastes all right, you know. I am not mad. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Oh. Let's have a bowl quickly. Mmm. Ooh, let's get digged in. So how are you all doing, guys? All got a hope. <sighs> this is red hot. You see the steam. Like me space buns. <laughs> so I went in the bath before, and I done my hair while I was in the bath. I just put it up in two space buns. And I'm just setting it dry naturally. Mm. Oh, God. I've got spinach in here as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't know why I put the cucumber in, but actually gives a nice freshness. Mm. 
know what? I'm really impressed with Miss Alina. Second time in a row. I'm not cook. <laughs> I was actually going to do a different dish, but he's at work till late, and then you'll just see. Basically, it'll be too heavy on his stomach for him to sleep, so I'll make it tomorrow because he finishes early tomorrow. So I'll make it tomorrow, and he can have it when he comes in from work tomorrow. So in here I've put soy sauce, oyster sauce, a dash of fish sauce, some was it garlic powder or garlic granules or salt, whatever. A touch of paprika, smoked paprika, um what's that? Oh salt and pepper. No. Oh me. Onions, spring onions. Sorry, spring onions, carrots, cucumber and spinach in an egg. And then football hot dogs and crab sticks. <laughs> Because why not? If it makes a meal, it makes a meal. So we have to say it. <laughs> and before anybody sees, no, it's not too salty. Because I wouldn't know if it was too salty because I don't really like salt in my food. The only time I have it, like if I have a normal dish, like fish and chips or anything like that, or, you know, a curry or anything, I never... You never see us put salt on the top. Um, the only time I put salt in is one if it's needed in my mashed potato. Or if the recipe requires it. I will never add salt. Like add extra salt to my food. Because there's already enough salt in. And there's other seasons what you can add without adding salt, if you know what I mean. That's my opinion anyway. That's my opinion. So it's my fault. It is. I actually went off salt when I was pregnant with my son. Couldn't stand, couldn't stand the taste of it.
And funny enough, my son won't have salt in my house because he, he knows I don't have it. I don't. I mean, it's up to him. I mean, see if he has a Sunday dinner at his grandma's, he'll add salt. He will. But I've, I've never seen him add salt to any of his food, really. Unless, obviously, he's trying to learn to cook. So unless the recipe requires it, then he'll add it. Hey, something that's bloody lovely. Yeah, a touch of freshness with. Oh. I was praising myself there in my head. You get a touch of freshness with like the cucumber and that. Mm. And the sauce is just done right. You know, like the broth. They've been stirred. I was just watching this last on YouTube, on, on YouTube, on TikTok. So I posted a, a eat, eat with me. Like a mukbang <coughs> and it popped up on me FYP by the way if you're on TikTok who follows Risha's kitchen or eat with Risha head on over I want to try and get to a thousand followers over there and then I can start going lives over there For an anyway. She had said in a video that she was in active labour and I was like, oh. So I clicked on the comments to see when it was posted. And it had been like two hours, so I thought and I noticed that she was on live because she had said in a video she had that it was already far to go live when it's in the hospital. So I clicked on the live and she was actually in active labour, but she wasn't in full labour. Um, she said that once, that once I got the, like, the full labour thing, full labour thing, like when she was fully active in labour, because she had been induced. She had the balloon inside of her. Frankly, I never had to have that. Um, then she wouldn't be on live, but bloody hell she was. She had 3.6 thousand people in the live. Like going up to nearly 4,000. But the likes on the live, she had... The last I was on, she had like... 5.2 million likes. I was like, one there, lass. You know, um, I think she's, I think she said she's having a little girl. I hope, I, I hope it goes alright for her. A contractions wall. Getting like three to four minutes apart, but the balloon hadn't popped out at that part, point. So sorry if you're eating and I'm talking about this, but you know we're all women. Well, you're not all of us, but you know what I mean.
Ba remember when I was in labor. I want to I wanna ask a question, right? Because this popped up on me, FYP. When I was in labor with my son, I had an epidural. I thought it was just a needle, in, like a shot in the back, a needle in the back, and that was it. But apparently, it's a they put a needle in your back, and it's like a catheter attached to it, and it, it drifts in. I'm like, did that? Did they have that around in two thousand and two? Because I'm sure I'd, I'm, I'm be damned. I did not have that. I did not have that. I'm sure I was just a shot in the back, back in 2002. I'd be damned, I did not have a drip. I didn't have a drip. I don't remember a drip. But I was definitely numb. Well, they literally had minutes to get it in. The, I had something because I was numb, but I definitely don't think I had a catheter leg. I don't think I did leg. Like. I think I was robbed of that. Unless they've changed it over the years, but I definitely do not remember having a drip drip. Remember having gas and then I threw up. I threw up and that stuff. <clears throat> but can anybody tell us? If back in 2002, if you had a, a baby and you had a, um, a bedural, did you have the cavity thing in? Because I'd, I'd be damned, I didn't have it. I didn't have that cavity thing in. But all these youngins are like having... C sections, I'd say. Why? I mean, I get having a C-section because I've, I've got a friend who had C-section through emergency. But I think that's the only reason why you should have a C-section, personally. That's my opinion. It is emergency C-section if you and the baby are in distress. But all these youngins are like dripping.
Oh. <coughs> Having save sections. Oh. That's it. It's just a few crumbs left. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.